Hey everyone, so I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but finally I'm actually getting inspired to start making videos again. And, um, anyways, I've actually um, been watching some minimalist and decluttering videos, and it's made me realize that I've got a lot of stuff, and I just, I wanted to declutter. I am actually moving back in with my parents in about a month or so. Um, some things had come up, and I'm going to be helping them out for a while, and I figured their house is crowded as is. Oh, and there is my kitty, Boots. Say hi, pretty girl. No, no, camera shy. Well, anyways, um, I decided to declutter. I actually moved three and a half hours away from where I live now. My parents now live there. I'll go into that in another video. But anyways, I have decluttered my apartment. I'm sorry I didn't get to videotape the whole process or anything, but I am just going to show you what I have and what I've done. So let's get started. So we are in my living room right now. Um, actually, when I moved into this place, I chose not to get very much furniture, just not knowing how long I was going to stay here. So I just have a beanbag chair, which works for me for now. And then I just have this table here. It's just a basic generic table from Walmart. And I actually got rid of the other one because the, um, like I said, it was a cheap table. And, um, where the screws go in, like right here, I know it's really hard to see. Okay, now now you can see it, but um, the holes weren't lined up, and I just got really frustrated trying to put that one together, so I just got rid of it. But um, I'm trying to keep as few items as possible on the table, so here I just have a box of tissue, um, some hand sanitizer that I made, and then I've been drinking a lot more water lately, and I actually have this zero water um, cup with a filter in it as you can see and yeah I've actually almost drank that whole cup but I really like this so far I do want to eventually invest in a Berkey but um, the zero water I figured was like the best option that I could afford right now this one was only ten dollars at Walmart and the filters are six dollars for a two pack so that's not bad and Unlike the Brita and a few of the other ones, the filter on here is actually a five stage, not a two stage. So it actually purifies the water even better. And personally, like, I like to try and avoid fluoride and more than likely it takes it out, but I'm not sure, which is why I want to switch to the, um, the Berkey water bottle eventually. Plus, um, I'm trying to get away from plastic and obviously the zero water is plastic. But I have the, the picture at my parents' house, and it worked well enough for me, so I went ahead and got the cup. So enough with that. And then this table right here, I'm actually trying to get away from using things with synthetic fragrances. Uh, and for the most part, I have. But I did have these two um, method candles, so I'm just burning those right now. Well, one of them, it's almost done, if you can see. And then this one just went out on its own. I think the wick's pretty much done for. And this is actually one of my favorite items. It's a Himalayan salt lamp. And what it does, not only does it look cool, but it also purifies the air and it takes toxins out of it. So I thought that was really cool. Plus they're just a really pretty piece. And then I just have the remotes right here in my tablet charger. The remotes I actually keep in the side pocket on the chair, but I have them out since I was just watching videos earlier. And then TV, it's just a 32 inch Roku streaming device. And then this desk I'm actually going to get rid of because I don't really like it anymore. And it's kind of... It's, it's in kind of rough shape, so I'm probably going to get rid of that. 
But this chair I love. It was only like five dollars, I think, and I love it. So I'm gonna keep it. It goes with the color theme I want to go with. And then here I have another salt lamp. And then this is my closet. I don't use a closet in my bedroom because it doesn't have a bar to hang things on. And this I like the fact it's got not only the hooks, but it's got the rack and then it's got the built-in shelving unit. I don't have a dresser anymore. So anyways, I have all my clothes in here. And I've downsized quite a bit. So this is all like spring, summery stuff here. I have... Um, a couple of necklaces on here. This is actually a vintage piece. It used to belong to my grandma, I believe. I really like it. I haven't worn it in a while, but I want to start mixing it in with some outfits. But I work at a daycare, and I work in the infant room, so it's just not practical for me to wear jewelry very much. This is a silver chain that I have. And that's it. And then I've got... A couple belts, some swim goggles, and then I've got a couple more belts here. Just a basic black and brown one. And I'll go into more detail on my closet. If you want to, if anybody wants to see a closet video, go ahead and let me know. But I've got these items, and then this is all like thicker winter stuff that I'm not wearing. This is pretty much all the winter stuff that I own now. Well, fall and winter, actually. So, I've downsized quite a bit. I actually got rid of, like, five or six garbage bags worth of clothes. And then I've got one more there that I'm donating. Vacuum cleaner. And I'm sorry for the lighting in some areas. Um, again, this is my closet. Can't really see it, but um, here's the cat carrier. You're going to see a lot of cat stuff in my house, obviously. A couple other items I'm getting rid of. And then I decided to fold my stuff doing the KonMari method, which is also the method I use to purge a lot of my clothes. I haven't read the book yet, but um, here are some tank tops. These are all like the spaghetti strap ones that I have. And then um, thicker strap tank tops shorts for sleeping in, pajama shirts, uh, one of the two or three pairs of shorts that I own, and then those are skirts, dirty laundry is there, um, there's one shirt that can still be worn and a bra hanging there, don't mind that, and then that purple shirt belongs to one of my friends, I gotta give it back to her, and then... I've got the two purses I've been using recently here, uh, one sweatshirt, and then I have my duffel bag, and I've got other bags and stuff inside that, and some scarves, and there's my cat again, and a cat toy. Alright, so, we are moving on. Cutting through the living room, hallway, and bedroom. So, my bedroom doesn't have much in it right now. And I apologize, I forgot to make my bed. But anyways, I've got my sleep headphones on here. I like to listen to ASMR and music when I sleep. And these my sister got me for Christmas. I love them. And I got my tablet right there on the bed. And then cat in the window. But um, right here I have my essential oil diffuser. Love this thing. I've been doing um, eucalyptus and tea tree in there. Uh, with it being allergy season, um, the eucalyptus helps with my allergies, and then the tea tree, I like to use that, especially after I clean, because it helps to kill bacteria. And then there is another window there. And then, closet's pretty boring, I just have like some extra bedding in there. That container I might actually get rid of, there's only like one bag in there. And then an extra rug I'm not using in there. And there's a couple hooks in here. Alright, so my room's pretty boring. I've got two pictures on the wall. And then this closet here, I've got the cat's litter box. It's clean. 
the scoopers. That bag's got some stuff I'm giving to one of my friends. This bag has some knit projects and some yarn in it. Those are just extra plastic bags I'm trying to use up. Whatever I don't use, I will actually be donating to work because whatever we have to change anybody's clothes, we put the extra clothes in a plastic bag and we can always use them. My broom and my shark steam cleaner. And this is all items I have packed up already. I actually got that diaper box from work. It was empty. And I use that to pack some stuff in. And then this closet here I've pretty much cleaned out. I'm going to turn on the light real quick so you can see what's in there. Alright, so cat food, I actually have to keep that in a, in a closet or cabinet because my cat will actually bite a hole in it and I got the resealable bag to try and keep her food fresh. She already bit a hole in the opposite corner. I've got three of my knitting looms that I wasn't able to fit in a tote container in there. I'm probably going to get an under bed storage container to put that in. Actually, all my knitting stuff. And then my laptop, which you can't really see, but I need to get a new keyboard put on it. So it's up there along with the keyboard, and my sister is going to probably do that once I move back. And then you can't really see up here, but I've got a bottle of vodka I use for making fragrances. Some Epsom salt and some coconut oil, which I use for making different products and stuff. And then we will go into the kitchen. Alright, so don't mind the mess on top of the counter. I was cleaning earlier. So I've just got some stuff drying and my cloths are drying before I put them in the laundry basket because I don't want to put wet stuff in there. I've got my tea kettle. That's all cleaning stuff in there. Not too exciting. And then up in my cabinet. So I've decided, unless I absolutely need to, I'm not going to go grocery shopping until I move out. So I've got breakfast cereals there. I've got like a dinner thing there. Pasta. I took all my rice out of the box, portioned it into one cup portion so it's easy to cook. And I even put the instructions on how to prepare it in the cabinet. And then I have some spaghetti sauce, um, beef flavored soup stock, panko breadcrumbs, fish sauce, some veggies, some strawberry jam, and then in here I got some cheese crackers, cooking oils, I've got olive and coconut. That's actually all I can use, like other vegetable oils. For some reason I get really sick from cooking with them. That's another story, but I've got um, cumin, chili powder, cinnamon, and salt all over here. This bin right here just has like little items, like I've got one of my protein bars that I like to eat in the morning in there. I've got some sunflower seeds, pistachios. I'm probably going to get more protein bars just due to the fact I do eat those for breakfast in the morning, since I don't really have time to make anything for breakfast, and... I don't get to work in time for breakfast. And I know I don't have a ton of food, but I do eat my lunches and I do eat a snack at work since it is provided. So no, I'm not starving myself, if anybody was concerned. And then over here we have my fridge. And then up on the fridge I've got two boxes with essential oils, a little measuring pitcher that came with my oil diffuser. I've got a cookbook my bamboo kitchen utensils. I've got an item I need to return and then this bin has all like cat stuff in it. And then up here I've just got coffee filters, a measuring spoon, coffee, some iced tea mix, microwave, and then I have a coffee maker. And then up here I have all of my coffee mugs, glass mugs, I've got one travel mug, and then this mug I absolutely love, it's a, it's from the Safe House, it's their secret code beer, and the Safe House, it's a um, bar slash restaurant in Milwaukee, it's based, and it's a really neat place to go, it's like a spy espionage and you gotta know a password to come in, otherwise they make you do something really crazy. 
But you do eventually find the password within the restaurant when you go on your little spy mission. So I'm not going to tell you, but if you're ever in Milwaukee, I highly recommend checking this place out. And in here, I've just got some drink pouches I need to use up. And then I've got some sugar in that peanut butter jar. And then these mason jars here. They all have um, tea, like this one's got chai. I've got some sleepy time tea, and behind that I've got some chamomile tea. Alright. And then I've packed up most of my silverware. I just have a couple items out. So in here I've got some spoons, forks, knives. I already packed away the dividers because I only have a couple items in there. Scissors. I got a couple lighters for lighting candles. And then I got a pen in there. I'm not sure what that goes to, but it's in there. And then I've got one knife in there. A whisk that I haven't been able to pack yet. Some knives. I'm not sure if I'm keeping those. And then the manuals to my shark cleaner and my microwave. And I think there's one to my crock pot. And a little drink mixer. And then in here, I have a strainer. I packed away a lot. Or actually, I haven't packed them away yet because I don't have a box big enough, but I've got a couple different pans in here. This set is all ceramic and stainless steel, which I love. And I got my toaster in there, um, stainless steel mixing bowls. I've got more pans back there. So, not a whole heck of a lot, but enough. And I'm going to warn you, my fridge is pathetic looking right now. Because I do need to go shopping when I do get paid and I'm excited because that light is finally working and I just cleaned my fridge so I've got a pitcher of iced tea I just made up there butter again I get real butter even though it costs more it's better for you well not necessarily a lot better than margarine but margarine because of the oil I get sick from it so I have butter I've got another thing of strawberry jam some ranch dressing some clear Pedialyte. I bought this when my cat was sick just to get some nutrients in her. But I don't drink it. I don't need it. My friend said her daughter likes it when she's sick, so I'm probably going to give it to her. And then in here I've just got some ice cubes and some chicken tenders. So again, pretty boring, but that's it. And then I forgot to show you these drawers, but I just keep um, oven, mitts, ki oven mitts and kitchen rags in there. Again, pretty basic. And here I've got some bowls, um, Tupperware, and a measuring cup. And then in this one, I know it looks a little messy, but I've got an extra cat food dish. My cat eats a lot, so I don't even bother with that dish. And then um, I've got some bags and some parchment paper. And then this side of the cabinet, I got some paper towel. And then I got a thing of freezer bags. I should probably move that. I've still got to rearrange that. And then just the disposable pads for my um, shark cleaner. All right, so last but not least, we're going to go into the bathroom. And it's a little dark in here, so I'm going to turn on the light. But anyways, we got a full-length mirror. There I am. Hi. And I look like a mess because I've been cleaning all day, so I'm just wearing sweats and a tank top. Nothing too exciting. I've got a towel hanging on this hook. I've got a hand towel up here. I'm going to fix that because it's bothering me that it's uneven. I've got like a little picture that I made up there. And I don't have any cabinets other than the medicine cabinet in here, but I have this shelf that's over the toilet. And up here, I've just got a few items. I've got some lotion I'm trying to use up, some Q-tips, um, some cotton rounds. I'm going to use those up and eventually go to reusable ones. Um, just some frozen cups my friend got and gave to me, so I'm just going to use those up and just use a plastic cup in here. Um, peroxide. Hair care items, witch hazel. There's some hair dyes and gloves up there. I've got some Lush lotion and hand cream. Some eye makeup remover. 
um, the Aura Wellness um, tooth stuff and I use that. Some nasal strips. I haven't used those. So I'll probably get rid of those. Um, hair stuff. All my makeup fits in there. Um, Shea Moisture. Um, Anti-breaking styling milk. I've got my hair dryer. Um, Shea Moisture Hydration Hand Cream. I actually have my name on this because I was bringing this to work a lot in the winter. And then I've got this 10-in-1 renewal system I sometimes use. Um, this I also made. And then I'm just keeping brushes in there. And then I got another tissue box up there. Garbage. Um, tampons. I'm going to switch to a menstrual cup when these are gone. And then here's my sink. Uh, I've got some rubbing alcohol that actually doesn't belong over there. I'm going to put it behind the peroxide. There, you witnessed me do it. Again, I'm getting used to this whole system of making sure counters are clear. And then this cup is going to need to go because I'm using those reusable cups. I still got to clean the bathroom. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this is getting to be a really long video. But anyways, I also have this... Um, well, it used to have the Yes to Cucumber and Eucalyptus Soap, but I have a homemade soap solution in there with some Dr. Browners and water. The Crystal Deodorant Stone. Love this thing. And then in here I just have a couple medicine items, some Tom's toothpaste, and some melatonin and vitamins, and a couple painkillers that I use once in a while. But anyways, um, here's my tub. It does need to be clean. Like I said, I do need to clean my bathroom. But I've got body oil, two shampoos and conditioners. Well, actually, three conditioners. Homemade shaving cream. I got two, two razors. The rest are packed away. Face and body wash. A bar of lemongrass soap. And homemade body wash. And some face wash. But anyway, okay, and then my loofah is right there, along with the drain stop. So anyways, that is my apartment before I move out of it. And yeah, so I'm only going to be in this place for another month, but um, that's um, basically everything I own here. I will be going through my belongings that are still at my parents' house in a couple of weeks. If you want me to do a video on that, comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and subscribing. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Alright, bye!